You got annihilated by Oregon on national television. You just got annihilated by Washington State. You were up 29 and nothing on Stanford at halftime, and you blew that game in double overtime, losing 46 to 43. You've lost to Oregon State. The list just goes on and on and on. I'm just telling you what I know. I don't care what he says. I don't care what he says. I know the man. And I'm telling you right now, I'd fly to Colorado myself and try to strangle him. Hell, I think you got a better chance of getting better athletes at Rutgers before you got cats that want to go to Boulder, Colorado. We just got to be real with what we're seeing here. Shador Sanders, I mean, he's a stud, but he's miniature in size compared to them big boys coming after him. He's been sacked 52 times. He's getting mauled and mugged legally, legally, because he's getting slaughtered. Travis Hunt, same thing. It's about them boys that eat steak and potatoes for breakfast. It's about those. You don't have them in Colorado. So we all know about the loss that Colorado took against Washington State Cougars on November 17th on a Friday. And this was the worst loss of the season for Colorado football. And Stephen A. Smith has some words to say about Coach Prime and the football team as themselves. We're going to get into the video. We're going to take a listen to what Stephen A. Smith had to say. But basically, after the game, whenever Coach Prime got interviewed for the post game, Coach Prime stated that this was probably the toughest stretch he's ever had in his entire life. And he just wants to win these games. Now, Stephen A. Smith reacted to those comments that Coach Prime had said, which we will take a listen to. But Stephen A. Smith was basically calling out Coach Prime for not coming out to the public and state that we need more dogs, we need more horses on our team. Stephen A. Smith was also given the impression that he doesn't really want Coach Prime to coach with the University of Colorado anymore. But I want you guys to take a listen to what Stephen A. Smith had to say. And I want to hear you guys' opinions. I want to know if you guys agree with what Stephen A. Smith or do you disagree? And how do you guys feel about the whole situation? So go ahead and take a listen. Before I play the audio, if you guys don't mind dropping a like on the video. And feel free to share this video out if you want to. That would be highly appreciated. And also comment you guys' opinions. I love when you guys engage. And stay to the end if you want to hear my opinions on what Stephen A. Smith and the whole situation as well. Go ahead and take a listen. And because the next subject involves the one and only primetime Deion Sanders, head coach for the Colorado Buffaloes. After a blistering start to their season, Colorado is now 4-7 following their 56-14 loss to Washington State. We're trying to win. We, we're just trying to win a football game. I don't know about the auditions. We're trying to win. <sighs> well, if you're trying to win, you're not trying very hard. What primetime Deion Sanders is not saying, we just don't have the horses. You got annihilated by Oregon on national television. You just got annihilated by Washington State. You were up 29 and nothing on Stanford at halftime, and you blew that game in double overtime, losing 46 to 43. You've lost to Oregon State. The list just goes on and on and on. The Colorado Buffaloes look awful right now. And here's why. Here's the biggest reason why. We got to call it like we see it. They don't have the horses. I don't want to hear anybody talking about the coach in the primetime, Deion Sanders. The man didn't forget how to coach. Okay? He knew how to coach when he was at Jackson State in HBCU. He knew how to coach the first few games when he resurrected this program, when they upset TCU to open the season, a national runner-up last season. Okay? Beat up on Nebraska. Beat Colorado State. Okay? Struggled offensively against UCLA, totally true. Went in a shootout, lost in a shootout against USC. We get it. They've had some good moments, certainly better moments than they had last year before primetime Deion Sanders arrived. This isn't about coaching with the Colorado Buffaloes. This is about the fact that they don't have any hogs. They don't have those big boys with the beef. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Florida State looks like they made a tremendous decision because they're 11-0. and They beat Florida. They will finish the season at 12-0. and I wish Deion was there. I wish he was at a different program. I wish that Texas A&M would call him. I wish somebody with huge coffers and alumni with, with fat wallets that could put him in a position where he's competing in a conference like the SEC. He's going up against Nick Saban. He's going up against Kirby Smart. He's going up against Brian Kelly and those boys. 
Lane Kiffin, throw him in there too. I wish they would give Deion Sanders an opportunity like that. He could tell you all the stuff he wants to about how he ain't thinking about anything but being here in Colorado. Got his home here, got his family here, all that other stuff. They know how to move. Pack the, bed, pack the van up and, and drive to hell of Texas a and I'm just telling you what I know. I don't care what he says. I don't care what he says. I know the man. And I'm telling you right now, I'd fly to Colorado myself and try to strangle him to drag him to Texas A&M if they offered him the job and he talked about staying at Colorado. No disrespect to Colorado. You did hire him from an HBCU. Major props to you. But you're never going to be able to recruit but so much at the University of Colorado. First of all, the Pac-12 is dissolving. Secondly, when you look at them, the reality is, is that are you really going to go to Colorado before you go to an SEC school? Are you really going to go to Colorado before you go to somebody like in the Big Ten, like Ohio State or Michigan? Or even Michigan State for that matter? Are you really going to do that? Hell, I think you got a better chance of getting better athletes at Rutgers before you got cats that want to go to Boulder, Colorado. We just got to be real with what we're seeing here. He doesn't have the horses. Shador Sanders, I mean, it, 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 he loves his daddy. And he loves playing football and, and he's a stud, but he's miniature in size compared to them big boys coming after him. He's been sacked 52 times. He's getting mauled and mugged legally, legally. Thank God his father and the coaches said he didn't need to go back up in there because he's getting slaughtered. Travis Hunt, same thing. He's been injured on at least two occasions this year. They don't have the horses. Football starts up front, line of scrimmage, offensive line, defensive line. It's about them meat and potato boys. It's about them hogs. It's about them boys that eat steak and potatoes for breakfast. It's about those. You don't have them in Colorado. That's why you're seeing what you're seeing now over the last seven weeks or so. Because they just don't have them. And you ain't going to get them in Boulder, Colorado. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. Now, as harsh as it sounds on what Stephen A. Smith is saying, I actually agree with what Stephen A. Smith is saying. We don't have the dogs that we need on our team to capitalize and get these wins. The offensive linemen can't even protect Shador Sanders and give him enough time to think. Like Stephen A. Smith said, Shador Sanders has been sacked like 52 times. And the Colorado football's defense needs a lot of adjustments and it needs a lot of changes that needs to be made. Some people may agree with me on this take. Some people may not agree with me, but I still feel like the only reason why Colorado lost to Stanford was because of their defense. That offense was actually able to capitalize, even though there was sometimes they didn't make the best plays or the best decisions. But their defense flat out just sold them the game. Number 13 was having a blast. Even Travis Hunter was even getting cooked on the defensive side. But when you hear that quote, defense wins games, that's true. And then you top that off with no offensive linemen, you're not going to, you're most likely not going to win games. And the Colorado football team is a prime example of that meaning that we're experiencing and we're seeing live. Now, like I said, Stephen A. Smith is giving the impression that he does not want Coach Prime coaching at Colorado anymore, which honestly, he would have more success if he was coaching at, say, Texas A&M or something like that. But I want you guys to get in the comments. Let me hear you guys' opinions on how you feel about the situation. If you've made it this far throughout the video, I really appreciate you. If you don't mind dropping a like before you leave, that would be highly appreciated. But I just wanted to make this video. I love all you guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.